A former parliamentarian himself, Dr Tony Tan, returned to address parliament as head of state. His speech, which outlines the government's priorities for the coming parliament, acknowledged that Singapore's politics is becoming more diverse and open. This is positive for Singapore. But in the heat of the political tussle, we must not forget that we all share the same goal, namely serving the people. Hence, all sides must take a long-term national perspective, put society's interests above their own, and find the right way forward together, despite different views and preferences. He shared a word of caution that Singaporeans should not forget to be sensitive to issues which can divide society. Our diversity must not divide us. Fault lines in our society have to be carefully managed. We have done well in strengthening racial and religious harmony. Now, we must try hard to prevent a new fault line from forming between local-born Singaporeans and recent immigrants. He said the government will work closely with the people, engage the Singaporeans more extensively on issues, tap their ideas and foster a greater sense of shared ownership. Citizens need to make the effort to think through the issues, weigh the options and make the compromises and choices. One platform for such an engagement is the new media. On the internet, Truth is not easily distinguished from misinformation. Anonymity is often abused. We must find ways to use the new media constructively to connect with a digital generation and sustain fruitful conversations on issues concerning us all. In his wide-ranging speech, Dr Tan also outlined some of the plans the government has in place to cater to the needs of the different segments of Singapore society. And these include low-income Singaporeans, those who have done exceptionally well, senior citizens and also the younger generation. Dr Tan says the underlying objective of the government's programs is to ensure that all citizens always have a place in Singapore, regardless of their background, race or religion. To achieve this, Dr. Tan says the economy must grow and Singapore can still make 3 to 5 percent growth per year. Concluding, Dr. Tan says very few countries have been able to achieve what Singapore has done and he calls on everyone to build on the strong foundation together for a better life and a brighter tomorrow.